Welcome into another edition of Fire Field Vision, powered by NovoCare. I'm Dan Kelly, and it's good to have the head coach sitting next to me, Brian Bliss. And Brian, it was a humbling road loss against DC United. What's been the message to the group this week at training? Yeah, well, again, it's it's a lot that comes down to this point of the year. It's the mental game because you know we've been out of the playoffs for a couple of weeks now, and you know it's about focusing and, and being mentally prepared and, and and getting over the hump that way rather than you know always the physical or the technical or you know sometimes the tactical. And you know, and after that loss, it's going to be a. a, a big band-aid to get over the mental uh, going into this last home game. At times this team has performed well at home, especially thinking back to that win over New England. Uh, what do they need to do to, to, to have three points at home and, and play up to their potential? Yeah, it's got to be a similar uh, needs as it was against New England. I mean, we've played some very good teams at home and gotten some good results, and obviously New York's a tough team, and, and I think contending with uh, the three internal midfielders that they uh, that they have, um, and then obviously they got a good prolific scorer in, in Bradley uh, Wright Phillips, uh, so it's really negating that. Uh, on the flip side, you've got to get something in the back of the net because you can't win a game unless you score a goal, so we've got to take advantage of the opportunities we get, uh, and hopefully we have enough to, to sink a few. This New York team, they like to press everywhere all over the field. How do you counteract that? Yeah, you've got to move the ball quickly. They do get numbers around the ball uh, and in tight spaces. So, you know, in order to, 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 to be effective against them, once you win the ball, you need to break pressure with a pass that's usually more than 10 or 15 yards to relocate the ball away from the bodies and away from the pressure. Final regular season match of the year for the club. What are you stressing to the team right now? What should their motivation be? Yeah, their motivation right now should be, look, a little bit of self-pride, all right? And obviously because it's a home game, you want to end the season on a high note for your fans uh, who've come to watch you pretty much all year and season ticket holders. And, you know, that should be their motivation and, and the guy playing next to them. You know, I'm not asking them to play for me uh, or anybody else. Play for yourself and play for your fans. It's going to be good to have Brian McBride in the television booth, 6 o'clock kickoff against the New York Red Bulls this Sunday. Uh, you know him well. You played with him a little bit in Columbus. What made Brian McBride a great pro? Oh, this is a very competitive person, an honest person on the field, would give, uh, you know, 100% effort all the time, uh, but he also had a good skill set as well because uh, the, 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 the way he could put the ball in the back of the net uh, with left foot, right foot, with the head uh, and, and the timing, and, and he was always the consummate professional. Brian, thanks so much for the time. Good luck Sunday. Thank you. Chicago Fire go for the home victory. Join us on the pregame show, CSN Chicago, this Sunday beginning at 530.